Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm at a very special place. It's Devil's Tower in Wyoming. This is a very special place for several reasons. The first is it's an unusual geologic formation. There was an intrusion of volcanic material up through sedimentary rock layers, and as the lava cooled, it formed its crystalline structure, forming these cross-sectional squares rather than a solid dome of lava. And then, once it cooled, that rock was much harder than the surrounding sedimentary rocks. Therefore, when they eroded away, they left the intrusive tube of lava as Devil's Tower. That's our scientific explanation. It's confirmed by evidence, and we consider it to be literally true. Okay, and that is the function of scientific explanations. Another story is that this was a place, according to a certain movie, where extraterrestrial contact was made. Uh, let's not pursue that any further. A third thing is that this is a very important place in Native American legend. According to one of the tribes, there were seven sisters and a brother out doing something, and the brother turned into a bear and started to chase the sisters. And then the sisters tried to find some place to be rescued, and they found this gigantic tree, and the tree said, I'll take care of you, and so they climbed up in the tree, and the tree grew even larger, and it had a great big trunk. That trunk is Devil's Tower. The bear tried to reach after them, and with his claws was striding into the trunk to produce those vertical lines that you see on Devil's Tower. Now, what happened to the sisters, you may wonder? Well, they went up in the sky and became the Big Dipper. Now, there's a California Native American legend that's very similar to this. There were seven wives and seven husbands. The seven wives were out digging wild onions and eating them, and they came home and their husbands said, Ew, your breath smells terrible! And so they drove out their wives. And the wives didn't know what to do when they went out and they found this rope hanging down from the sky. So they climbed up the rope and they became the Little Dipper. Then the husbands, left alone, realized, you know, we really miss our wives. Let's go find them. And so they went out. They found the rope hanging down from heaven. They climbed up and they became the Big Dipper. And the Big Dipper has been chasing the Little Dipper ever since that time. Okay, now let's think about what are these mythological legends about? Are they really about literal truth? Did the Native Americans have a concept of literal truth in their legends? I've never heard that there were any Native American tribes that burned other people at the stake for not believing, for being heretics and not believing these stories. Oh, they burned people at the stake for other reasons, but not for that reason. Now, literal truth then is not necessary for a story to be functional in promoting tribal identity or national identity or any other kind of group identity. That's the function of stories. Literal truth is not necessary. And that's something else that we can learn here at Devil's Tower. We can see literal scientific truth. We can see figurative mythological truth that doesn't depend upon accuracy, but promotes a sense of identity. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho, and I'm in.